So it's the beginning of August and it's time for me to share my income report for July. And it's been a very busy month and hopefully some of the information I'll share in this report will actually help you with your business. It might help you understand what it takes to get this sort of income and the amount of work you'll need to do and how your website could replicate what I'm doing. So hopefully in this video, I'm going to be like this dude splashing the cash. Let's get into this. Hi and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Carl. I'm a UK affiliate marketer. Yes, there are some UK affiliate marketers. We're a quiet bunch. We keep ourselves to ourselves usually. But on my channel, I share everything about my income and my business. And each month, I tell you what I earned for the previous month, okay? So at the beginning of each month, I tell you what I earned for the previous month, that's better. And I do a monthly income report. You can follow my playlist on my channel. I've documented my income now, probably for around a year. I think there's probably 12 income reports on there, maybe even more. And I show you how I grow my websites and how the income grows. And also I show the expenses as well, what you need to lay out in content and hosting, etc., to get your website to where some of mine are now. Now, also, if you're interested in affiliate marketing, my business model has changed recently over the last six months, uh, and now I earn a lot of my income from my Carl Broadbent brand and my Keyword Care Research Company. So there's income comes from all over the place. Income from YouTube, income from blogs, income from email lists, income comes in from all over the place, and that's part of being an affiliate marketer. But if you're a blogger or just building your first website, I think you will find some interesting details within this income report. So let's get over to the computer and we'll have a look at my monthly income report for July 2021. Okay, so let's take a close in-depth look at my actual income report and also my p and I do break it down actually piece by piece and in detail. So you probably saw from the thumbnail, I did a kind of a clickbait thumbnail. So I hid the first digit from you. So can you guess how much it was? Was that 13,000? Was that 23,000? Or was it more? Well, let's have a look. Okay, so you can see there, total income was $33,645.16. And 16 cents. So to break it down piece by piece for you, the majority of that income was from the sale of a website. But I have included it in the PL because obviously it hits my bank. I mean, that money has now gone in my bank. Therefore, it should, in my opinion, be included in this um, income report. So the total income from websites was $4,623. And the total sale from the website, that was one website that sold my high ticket item website for $24,000. And the total income from my affiliates was $5,022. Now you can see the income from the website and the affiliates are both in red. That means it was less than last month. So there's a number of reasons for that and I will go into that in more detail. But overall, $33,645 income, which obviously is in green because it was $22,259 more than last month. Now, my total expenses, again, you can see is in green, $3,646.42, which is $1,000 less than I spent last month. Now, if you watch my income report from last month, you'll know that I really am focusing on trying to drive my expenses down a little bit. I'm not obviously investing very heavily in certain websites. And again, we'll get to that in a moment. And that's why the costs have come down. But there are some websites that I'm really still investing heavily in. And we'll get into that in a moment. So you can see a total profit for the month of June is $29,998.74, which is just absolutely phenomenal. Now, I'm not going to get many income reports like this because that's predominantly because I sold a website. But obviously, it's in green because it's definitely more than I made last month. However, you need to understand that this is before tax profit. So let's have a look in detail and see where all this money came from. Okay, so the first slide here, you can see this is my pet website. This is the case study I do called HutchinCage.com. Now, the traffic is 60,500 visitors for July, which is not even 1% up, but it is up. And on the previous month, that was about 10% up, trying to get it back to where it used to be. This website was 130,000 page views at its peak. 
and that has significantly dropped through all the court updates throughout the past year really now it is coming back and i have no doubt it will get over a hundred thousand page views hopefully by the end of the year so i think we'll be back to square one hopefully near december or january so the site is two years three months old 469 articles again if you remember in the last video i said i'm not publishing any more content on this what i'm doing is just focusing on improving the content that's there because that content was good enough in the past to get 130,000 page views so it should be good enough to get that again, if not significantly more. I had web stories on there. I, again, I released a video very recently about web stories, how they've not really done much for me at all. I got 21 views from about 80 web stories posted on this website, which isn't good at all. Now, what I've done also is I've drafted a lot of the web stories. So I've had a few rumors and a few people saying that Google Web Stories can actually compete with some of your articles. So I've actually put a lot of them into draft just to see if it does make a difference to any of my articles. I'm just wondering if some of the web stories have cannibalized some of my keywords for the articles that I was ranking for. So I posted them into draft and I, then I will let Google crawl the website again and see if that improves some of the content. Maybe some of them stories was pulling the traffic down from those published articles. We'll see, I'm not too sure yet. So I'm still posting on Pinterest. I get around three and a half to 4,000 views per month from Pinterest. So I'm quite happy with that. It's not a lot of investment each month into that. So to get three or 4,000 visits a month from that, it's still worth continuing with. So I'm focusing on updating all my content. That's all I'm doing, I'm not adding anything new. I'm just going into each article, I'm refreshing the links, I'm refreshing any out of date products or products that's no longer in store. And I'm also adding FAQs onto there. That's all I'm doing. And so far, really good. I mean, as every single article that I've updated, well, I say everyone, pretty much the majority of them, about 90% of all the articles I have updated have gone up in the rankings. So it seems to be a strategy that is working. Now, another thing that's happened on this website, I've lost an affiliate program. Now, what I mean by that is I was making around $500 in May from one pet product. Somebody else has come along and published a ton of content and it's dropped me down in the rankings. So I've gone from position two or three, which was bringing me about $500. And now I'm at the bottom of page one. And you can see the difference there from $534 all the way down to $12.33. So uh, it could also be the spam update that's knocked that article down, but I think it's the competition more than anything. You can see my PL. Now, this is actually my PL that gets submitted to my accountant. And you can see there we earned $1,129, which was $972 primarily from Mediavine. This site is still on Mediavine because it gets more than 50,000 page views. And you can see that has lost about two or three hundred dollars due to the traffic being down. And the also the Amazon affiliate commissions on here have dropped. Now there is a reason for that. I have taken off a lot of affiliate products and Amazon links to see if it improves the traffic. I, I was just wondering if Google doesn't like the amount of affiliate links I've got on a pet website. So I've stripped a load of them out there. I'm happy to take a little bit of a loss on the Amazon earnings if it can pull my traffic back up. So we'll wait and see what happens, but you can see there, you know, it's st still significantly down at the moment. Now expenses wise, I've only spent $20 on there. So we've made $1,109 this month in clear profit which means so far from this year, we've made $9,120, which is still fantastic. I still do believe that it's gonna do anywhere between 15 and $20,000 profit for this year alone. So if we move on to the next site, you can see this is site number two, which is my keyword care service. This is a service that I provide to help find keywords that can help you grow your website and find you some nice traffic. So the traffic to this website, 1,460 views in the last month, which is 7% up. Now that 7% up has really increased the orders. So the orders at the moment have been flowing in. So I've done around 30 orders this month, which as you can see from the income there for July on the left hand side, $3,158 worth of orders. Now that could have come from the 7% increase in traffic, but it's also from YouTubers. So I've mentioned my service in a few more videos and there's some other YouTubers that's also give me a shout out for my service. And that has really, really increased the um, income that's come from this site. You can see June, 2,195, almost $1,000 more. Now it is a significant 
amount of work. So I have literally worked my butt off over the last month with these. To do 30 orders, I think, is the peak. That's about as much as I can handle. I do have a small VA team that helps me now with a little bit of research. But I oversee pretty much everything and check pretty much every single keyword that goes out. So it is a lot to do. And I'm also going to change the way the service is run. I'm going to I'm updating the website. That's already in progress. And I'm going to change the type of orders that I do. Because I believe this service is more focused on newer websites with fewer content on. And that's the service that I can provide that offers the best results. I have had a few companies reach out to me say, can you give me a hit list for $89? And when I look at their website, it's 10 years old. They're ranking for thousands of keywords. They've got hundreds and hundreds of articles on there. And then they say, I don't want you to duplicate any keywords or I don't want you to write about any topics I've already covered. Well, that is a huge amount of work to do that. And if I'm being honest, it's probably out of my league to work on websites like that because it's so much work involved in checking if that keyword will cannibalize that one. It's, it's such a hard process to do. So I think I'm gonna revamp my service that focus on helping newer websites or people just getting started. So I'm gonna do a video on this very shortly, probably the next week or two. So more news to come on that very soon. But you can see, like I say, $3,158 in income. Expenditure, pretty much $470 was the majority, which is my VAs and uh, people to work on my website and the process streamlining it. So we made $2,677, which is by far my best month. It's, it, well, it's almost double my best month. So it's a fantastic, it's a great business to be in. Any service or apps or anything like that can often be very financially rewarding. So this website in the first seven months of the year has made $10,000 clear profit, which is insane. So website number three is my high ticket item website. Now this is a website that I've recently sold. You may have watched the video. I sold it for $24,000 to a fellow YouTuber and blogger, Tortoise Cash Flow. Now he's kindly agreed that he's gonna, over on his channel, continue with reporting on this website. So you can see here currently what this website has taken, how much money it's made, and he's gonna keep the income reports going. So this will be my last income report on this, so I will no longer share any information on this. It's unfair to him. He now owns the website, and uh, by all accounts, he's doing very well from it. So I'm really excited to watch his videos, and I want to see the journey of this website. I am sure in quarter four, he's gonna kill it. I think it's gonna be amazing. But you can see here, so the income, I made $59 in Amazon sales before the website was sold. And then I sold it for $24,000. So obviously you can see there, if we look at the total for the year, you can see $25,950 income came in. I spent $2,611 on the website over the year. So we've made a grand total on this website of 23,342. So for around two years work, $20,000 profit is, isn't bad at all, is it? And I, I'm sure, you know, this is why you, if you're not making affiliate websites and you're not building niche websites and you're thinking about doing it, this is why you need to get into it. You know, imagine building three or four of these a year, you know, your eighty dollars to $100,000 income each year from building and selling websites or just sitting back and reaping all them uh, passive income coming in from the sales. It's great. It's a great business to be in. But I think it's a really good sale for him and it's been a good sale for me. So I've really enjoyed it. But this will be the last time it's seen on this income report. Okay, and over to site four, my mega website. Now the biggest news about this, uh, which I'm sure you're all interested in, is the traffic is flowing in. So we are 302% up. So we had 3,590 visitors to the website. 332 articles, which to be honest, is about the same as it was a couple of months ago. I've not added anything to this website for quite some time. The website is 11 months old in total, that's the domain age, but the first article was only published seven months ago. It's kind of bordering on the seven, eight months now, so it might be eight months on the first one. Now, I have had some indexing issues, you're probably all aware of that. It's still only got 70 articles out of 332 indexed. So from 70 articles, we're getting three and a half thousand visitors. So, you know, imagine if 332 articles were indexed, it's going to be 10, 15, 20,000 page views. And that's sitting quite low in the index, in the SERPs. So I do feel a lot more positive about this website now. I have just put Ezoic on there and you can see there, 
we and for July we actually made a sale in Amazon of three dollars forty eight, and we made our first I think it was a couple of days of Ezoic ads ninety four cents. So a grand total of four dollars and forty two, but with three or four thousand visitors coming to the site. So we will start to see some income starting to appear on this uh, spreadsheet because it's a bit boring without any income showing up. Now there are a few expenses, $20. So you can see this month we are minus $15.85. But overall for this year, we're at minus $11,313. So I think overall this website is about $17,000 down. So that's what we've invested in the site. And as you can see, $6.61 income. So not looking great, but it is much pro more promising now that the actual traffic is coming in. But why is the traffic coming? Well, it could be because there is a worldwide event. Now, I've mentioned the Olympics. I have one article that is related to a particular topic that's going on in the Olympics, and it seems to have got a load of traffic. Now, with that article ranking really well, I have some links on the article that link out to other articles, and I think Google has crawled it. So not only is that article getting a load of traffic, but it's also pulling other traffic through. Now, a lot of people have said, ah, it's the Olympics, he's in the sport niche. And no, it, it's not sport. It is um, a topic in the Olympics, and you can tag it along with sport, but it isn't actually a broad niche of sport. So for all of you who was guessing, who said you'd figure the niche out, it's not sport. But it has certainly made an impact on the site. So I'm, I'm happy. 302% up in traffic. Let's hope that continues. And if that does, next month should be looking pretty good. Okay, so site number five. This is carlbrobin.com. So I've been really focusing on written content. If you visited the site in the last few weeks, you'll see there's over 20 articles that's been written on that site. Now, the articles are pretty much my video content. I have turned into written content. So I've done articles like how to stop cannibalization of keywords, 10 best blog headline generator tools, and how to research keywords. There's how to build an email list. There's dozens of articles on there. So I have been working really hard on this site and I'm going to continue to do that. I've published a few articles as well for some big publications and some big sites like Ezoic, and I've got really strong backlinks. So they kindly reached out and said, will you write some content for us? I've been doing that, and that's worked really well for backlinks. So the authority of carlbrawlbent.com hopefully should go up. So I may be able to compete with some more generic terms, um, like how to build an email list or how to find organic keywords, things like that, which are really difficult to rank for because the bigger sites like Moz and Neil Patel tends to rank for those kind of keywords. But if I keep writing great content and I keep sharing it with people like Ezoic and getting these great backlinks, I might have a chance of ranking some of these. So the traffic 2,360 is actually down on last month. No big reason, I'm not sure why. I've not been pushing my site too much in YouTube and I think that's where a lot of the traffic was in June. So I think in July, I've not pushed Carl Brobin on YouTube too much. So I think that's where the traffic loss is. I've also been running a King Sumo app. I've been testing that by doing some giveaways. I found it's a really cool app. It runs really good giveaways. They are quite fun. Although it's not driven a lot of traffic or subscribers to my email list. I think to do that, you've got to be really focused on giving away some really valuable big prizes. Nobody seems to want to enter a competition and give their email away just to win a book or something like that. So I do like the app and I'm going to figure a way of using it better. But uh, for now, yeah, I'm, I want to write an article about King Sumo app and that's why I'm testing it. I, I never write about anything or I never do any videos about anything unless I've thoroughly tested it. So I've also been focusing on building my email list and also trying to monetize that. So niche website builders have uh, purchased some space on my email and uh, they've kindly offered a discount code for their service. So if you want a discount code for niche website builders, you need to be subscribed to my email list and you will get an email on Friday with all the details of that discount. I've also done a massive push on YouTube. So I've been busy on YouTube. I have already published a lot of videos and I've also got about 10 scheduled, ready, uploaded, all done and finished to publish over the next few weeks. So the only problem is with YouTube, I am seeing a small return on my investment. So I'm spending a lot of time on YouTube, but I'm seeing very little financial return from it. So I am gonna keep going with it, definitely not going anywhere. I'm still gonna be on YouTube, I'm still gonna be providing as much helpful content as I can. 
but I have to be careful with the return on the investment. I can't spend five days a week doing YouTube videos if it doesn't bring me return financially because I could be building more niche websites and earning money from building websites. So I'm sure you'll understand that, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm still continuing with it. And maybe we'll see at the end of the year how things go. I have made a shorts channel, Bite Size Carl. And pretty much it's failing. I have no reason why people say shorts work really well, but they don't seem to be for me. So whether I continue with that or not, I'm not sure. So the other news is I've been working on a big project. And again, I keep building you up with this. I keep letting you know where it is. It's actually nothing to do with websites, as in you know, I bought a website or I've sold a website. It's nothing to do with that whatsoever. You will be interested, but I cannot share anything with you until it's probably going to be in September. But you're going to be excited. More details to come on that. It's certainly the biggest thing I've done in the last four years without a shadow of a doubt. And the last thing, popcorn theme. I've been doing a lot of marketing for popcorn. It's a theme that we built for WordPress. Me, Phil and Alex from WP Eagle, we've been building this theme and we're trying to promote it and give the best customer service we can. So it's looking good. We're hopefully answering all your questions and we love the feedback we're getting from it so far. If you're interested in that, it's popcorntheme.com and it's perfect for WordPress, for niche websites and bloggers. Now, if you have a look at the income, you can see there I have got to block out my affiliate commissions. And again, it's for legal reasons on some of them. I can't share the income I make from them because I have a non-disclosure with a lot of these companies. So my total income though, you can see $5,022, which is a little bit down on last month. I'm not too worried about it at all. It's pretty much very good. I mean, nobody's going to argue with $5,000 a month. So I'm very, very happy with that. You see overall for the year so far in seven months of this year, $27,000 in income just from my brand, Cal Broadman, which is amazing. So the month of July, we spent $2,000 primarily on content and accountants fees. I've had my last two quarters worth of accounts done. It's a huge expense. Accountancy fees in the UK are crazy and the software you need to run for it is extortionate. So um, that fee should reduce over the next few months and then we'll see another big accountant fee at the end of the year. Um, so I spent $2,000, which meant from my affiliate income, $2,992 profit. So for the year, it's already made nearly $21,000, which is fantastic. So this is site number seven. I have deleted site number six because again, it was a site that I've sold and I can't share any information on it. It was only a small site, wasn't really doing anything, but uh, yeah, there's no point me sharing any information on that. So we'll move on to this one, site number seven, which is in the fishing niche, traffic 4,800, which is 2.4% up, which is great. Lots of content is being added to the site, but a lot of it is not indexed yet. So that 4,800 traffic, I do expect to it should pretty much double in the next couple of months. I'd be surprised if it doesn't. I've spent over $700 on content. I have two writers working on this site full time. Now I'll tell you the reason I'm really putting a bit of effort into this is because I've added Ezoic and it's getting one of the biggest EMPVs I've seen for a, new, for a relatively new site. So it's in the high $20 uh, and that's for the first month on Ezoic. So once the algorithm works and the AI starts optimizing the ads for the right visitors, I could see a $30, maybe even more EMPV. So that's the earnings I make per thousand views. So to get anything over $20 is really good. To get closer to $30 is fantastic. So while I'm getting a great EMPV, I'm going to focus on it. I'm going to throw a lot of content at it and really try and capitalize on it. So one last thing I'm also going to do on this, I don't usually focus on products, but now as we're getting the traffic, there are a lot of products and Amazon sales should be pretty good for this niche. So while the fishing season is still here, I'm really going to try and get some buyer guides and some products on there and see if I can capitalize on the next two or three months that I think is kind of left in the season. And then I do expect the affiliate sales to slow down. So you can see on the left hand side of the PL, $77 from Amazon and $64 from Ezoic. Like I said, I'm really pleased with that $64. For the first month, that's pretty good. So I expect next month, it might be near 100, and then I hope in September, it's near 150. So we're gonna start seeing some return from this. So expenses were quite a lot, $790 in expenses, and that's primarily the writers for the content and a little bit of hosting and some images. So you can see for July, we made $141, but we spent $790, so we minus $649. So overall for the year so far, we're minus 2073 
But like I say, I'm not too worried now this site is moving, it's going in the right direction. So that's all pretty good. So website number eight is a joint venture I'm doing. The traffic is finally moving up 7% up, 240 visitors, 67 articles. The first article was published 11 months ago. Now, I've still got some major concerns about this website. I just maybe Google is not loving it. I don't know why. It's not a broad niche. It's a, just a normal affiliate marketing niche. It's nothing special. And lots of articles are not indexed. You can see that I've entered 64 into the keyword tracker on the right hand side and only 23 are showing and it doesn't seem to be having much joy at all. It's average position 140 so we were in absolute ghost town with this website. I expected in the top three or top 10 after 11 months we should have 30 or 40 in those boxes so very very strange. So no income coming from this site at all of the last seven months and we've spent $18. So we are minus 556. Now that is my share. So overall the website has been invested, is it $1,000 or $1,100? As it's a 50-50 venture, my share is minus 556. I'll keep you updated. I don't know what to do with this site. We'll wait and see. Website number nine was my herbs and spices site, which I sold. So I recently sold this website and we've made a little bit of profit. So taking everything into consideration, what I purchased it for, I didn't really, well, I didn't add any content at all. And then what I sold it for, minus my hosting and everything like that, I made around $200 profit. But again, this slide will now be removed. It won't be next month's income report because like I say, it's not fair to the new owner. So this will be the last time you'll see this one. So that's it. Overall, let's have a look at and break it down. So the sale of the website was definitely the highlight of the month for me. That was a, a really good sale. It's a site I was passionate about, as in it was so good. It was growing. It was doing really well. But I wanted to sell it on an upward trend. I, I didn't want to sell a website that was flat or going down. I wanted to give somebody a website that was on the up and then hopefully they can continue that ride and get a really good return for their investment. 24 grand is not to be sniffed at. A lot of people can't stump that sort of cash up. So I think if anybody's paying that sort of money, you've got to give them a really good asset. And I'm, I think that's what I've done. So overall, my affiliate income is still strong. $5,000 from my brand. The keyword care had a huge month, the best month it's ever had by a country mile. Absolutely fantastic. Expenses were down and I'm going to continue to keep them down. I'm just going to focus on the fishing site and Carl Broadbent for this month. And then moving into next month, I am considering doing a new case study. Now, that might be something that you're interested in. I'm thinking of doing one from scratch. It will literally be using the popcorn theme. I will show you all the research. Let's build some keyword hit lists. We'll upload the theme, we'll do the keyword research, we will do the writing, we'll do everything on this site and we'll really follow it all along. I will probably reveal the niche and I will let you watch it 100%. There'll be warts and all, you will see everything. So I am planning on that now. I mean, let me know in the comments, do you want to see a full fresh case study from me where I reveal everything? You will be there at day one and you'll watch it all the way through and we'll see if we can grow the site. So if that is something you're interested in, let me know. I'm sat on the fence whether I should do it, so I would like your opinion. Are you sick of seeing case studies, or do you want to see more of them? Let me know in the comments, please. So also, I'm going to start writing on my mega website. Now, as we've seen a little bit of traffic, I'm going to try and ride that wave and see if we can add. It won't be a lot. I still don't want to put a ton more money in this until I'm 100% confident it's out of the sandbox. But I'm thinking of adding five to 10 articles a month. Certainly for next month, I will do that. And then we'll see where we are in the next income report. Uh, I'm thinking of closing my short channel and I've been doing TikTok. Yeah, I know. I've been doing TikTok. Crazy, yeah? But I wanted to try it and I am getting a little bit of traffic from both of those channels. But it's a lot of effort for very little reward at the minute. So I'm wondering if I should just close those two platforms down and just focus on this channel. And the last thing, yeah, I've been working hard on my big project. As I said, more details come in September. So if you want to have a look at the overall income, as you know, $33,000 income from July. That means the total income I've had from everything to do with affiliate marketing this year is $82,394, which is astounding. That's, you know, it's double the income I had as a you know supermarket manager it's double my income and that's in the first seven months. So if this continues and particularly with Q4 being normally the best month of the year, I could see what 
$150,000 income, which is amazing. Now you can see my expenses, $30,000 expenses for the year, and that gives me a grand total pre-tax profit. Don't forget, it's $52,262 pre-tax profit from the month of January to July, which is incredible. Like I say, probably 20%, maybe more of that is going to go to the tax man, unfortunately. So there you go. As you can see, another lucrative month in the world of affiliate marketing. But you can also see how my business is kind of sidestepping and changing around. You can see some incomes going up, some coming down. Uh, one of my affiliate programs I pretty much lost recently because another affiliate marketer has come into that keyword and that niche and uh, I pushed me down the rankings. So your income varies, but owning a portfolio of websites or being an affiliate marketer is all about diversifying and making sure that when one thing's working, if something else drops away, you can alleviate that by working harder on the thing that's working. You have to be able to react and quickly change direction if that's what's needed. So I hope you found that interesting. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel and you like these income reports, then leave a comment, let me know, was it helpful? Did you enjoy it? What part of the video um, interests you the most? And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. But for now, thank you very much for the next income report. It will be August one, which I will bring out at the beginning of September. So thanks very much. I'll see you in the next video.